Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This video is on the Mirage. Now I've been kind of screwing around with this plane for about two or three days now, on and off, and uh, I'm starting to fall in love with it honestly. Now I know next to the MiG-21 and the Phantom E with their R60s and M9Js, having four of them, this thing isn't really quite meta to be honest. I'm having a much easier time still in the MiG-21 and the Phantom E, but this thing Honestly, it's just joyous to fly. It really is a really fun plane. It handles superbly. It does basically what you wanted to do. It has very, very little finicky flight characteristics, honestly. And it's it's just really exciting to play. You saw that intro there. It's just, I, I don't know. It seems to get itself into awkward situations, kind of like the Draken, but without really dumping all of the energy and making it super frustrating. Now, um, I was using the mantra that big old missile that's on the center of the plane but it really really affects how this thing flies especially since I take 30 minutes of fuel and honestly that missile is pretty fun because it has long range but the flight performance that I, I don't know it's just really odd so we're coming up on this Phantom E here I want to fire one of the magics um there's just something really wrong with this server um so you're gonna see a lot of really strange missiles um, both coming from me and my teammates, but we'll get into that as we get into the clip. But yeah, I, I can't, I cannot recommend this plane enough. Um, if you have grinded out most of your French air tree, this thing's definitely worth picking up. Just don't expect to be, you know, picking up a, an ace game, you know, pr the majority of the time. If you are a good pilot, it's just that the, the missile kind of meta right now is, is pretty crazy. But yeah, watch this missile here on SF4. It's just tracking the weirdest thing ever. And... Yeah, it goes it goes through the flares immediately. But that corkscrew in, that's not normal. It doesn't normally do that. So this guy's still popping flares. I think he's got some sort of um bind the, 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 the spaced out here. So I'm just gonna chase him down with the guns, and this is where this thing becomes really, really fun. You can see I'm trying to keep my energy up and try not to lose a lot of it. Um and there we go. But little bit of lag there on the, the shots hitting them. See that missile sort of wiggling away there? Really, really strange behaviour. It's kind of affecting the flight performance of the plane as well, but I'm still super enjoying this. Yeah, this thing's energy retention is pretty good. The minute you go full elevator though, you can expect to bleed your energy very quickly. As you can see here, we're accelerating really fast, trying to keep up with this lightning. This guy's getting... Honestly, if you look right now at the <laughs> at the minimap, oh my god, I've got so many teammates chasing this last guy, it's actually hilarious. Look at these... <laughs> <laughs> they're just throwing missiles at them and nothing's happening they're just tracking all different things really really weird so uh, i'm catching up on this guy uh, i'm out accelerating all my teammates i think i'm just looking after my energy a little bit more and this thing does have really good uh, top end on the deck uh, a little bit more than this poor lightning here uh, i think another guy spams a missile at him in a second yeah we go straight up i'm just going to keep climbing with this guy Lightning obviously is known for climbing at Mach 4 into space. Uh, not good enough. The Mirage can catch him. Lamau. Uh, we just get our guns on target. And down he goes. <laughs> get this. Mine, mine, mine. And then that happens. <laughs> good way to finish that clip there. But yeah, this thing's a lot of fun. Let's move on to some more footage. So this next clip is on Korea and with a lovely bunch of guys, our team's working really well together. Uh, we ended up really absolutely annihilating these <laughs> these enemies. I've spotted this FGR and this thing, look at this thing diving. But you obviously you have to be really careful in this and pull in like 11 G's. I'm trying not to roll at the same time as I'm trying to get on this guy's 6. Now this server again is like a really laggy server, I've no, no idea what's going on here. Just turning after this FGR, pitch on the air brake, we managed to clip his wing, so looks like a really nice kill on paper. So I'm now tracking this other guy here. We're gonna see we're gonna witness the power of the magic missile. And uh yeah, watching this guy go down just to get some cool cinematic footage here for YouTube and no kill. <laughs> Thank you, Gaijin. A lot of question marks in the chat there. But yeah, that's very strange. I'm not sure why that happens. Sometimes you, you get like, you know, mediocre hits and things and it, you still get the kill for it. But yeah, I'm, I'm very surprised that didn't work. So I'm locking this guy. I've got a teammate that's there as well. Luckily, I got my missile off first. And watch this track. Look at the range. Bang. Down he goes. Yes, these missiles are crazy, dude. 
You do some mad stuff. Moving on to our third clip. Again, I'm going to showcase just how good these magic missiles are. Now, what I normally do, since I'm not a very good pilot, I'm not very confident, is I kind of swing out and do a little flank and kind of assess what's going on in the battlefield and what I can do to contribute. So I've noticed, this, obviously, this huge furball is forming here, and I'm trying to spy the MiG-21s. Now, one of the cool things about this game is that it, is it was kind of like historical, quotation marks, matchmaking, where it was Russia and Germany versus every other nation. It was actually kind of nice. Yeah, I'm eyeballing this MiG-21 here that's a little bit higher up than everybody else. I'm going to try and make sure that I can take him out. I know he's a bit of a threat here. So that's who I've got my eyes on. I already start my uh, missile is spilling already. Ken, I was considering that MiG-19 to help my friend out. But yeah, go for this MiG-21 instead. And if you notice, <laughs> the, the guy on the right hand side, yeah, he takes out uh, the MiG-19 and he's gone too. So we're going to swing back around. I did try and keep track of this other MiG-21. Lost him for a little bit. Luckily, he's not going for me. He's gone up with two or three more of my teammates and he manages to get himself taken out fairly quickly by yet another missile. So I'm now scanning for my last target for my missile. I spot this MiG-21 here coming in. There's a MiG-19 down below and another one down to my left. So MiG-21 is priority. He's the more dangerous target to my teammates. So spill him up and watch this. Watch this missile. Damn, dude. Like, that last little jink the missile takes. It's almost like a right angle snap onto that guy. Now, I'm not sure if it's like laggy server or that's just how they are, but they're insane. Missed my guns on this guy. I want to try and get back around again. I'm trying not to turn too steeply, so I'm losing a lot of energy. You will bleed a lot of speed if you go for the elevator, so I'm just trying to relax on that and keep, keep my speed as much as I can. This MiG-19 PD will be hard to catch, but yeah, watch, watch the left hand side of the screen. And down he goes to a friendly missile, and that's pretty much the game there. But yeah, this poor MiG-19s and all these guys that don't have these awesome missiles and enough thrust to keep away from these guys. They're pretty much getting clubbed by game mechanics rather than skill, and well, hopefully something will change in the near future. Let's move on to the last clip. This last clip here, we're going to showcase the missiles again. Nice quick double kill with these things too. So it's a pretty decent clip to show you just how powerful these things can be. You're, you're kind of like one of the most powerful chess pieces on the board, if you will. Although you only have two of these, they're almost guaranteed kills in the right situation. So, I mean, you can really pick targets out of the crowd and do really well for your team. And then, of course, you can go to the guns. I make a rookery error here as well, and I'd like to showcase that because... I know I show an awful lot of clips of me doing well, but I'd like to showcase me failing at the same time. So I spot this F4E. He's a really big target to me. If if we take him out, that's good for our teammates. So lock him up. Look at the look at the range I fire this at. This was kind of an experimental shot. Yeah, look at it. Wiggle away. Now he does pop some flares, but they're no good. And down he goes. <laughs> spot the other one in the distance. We're gonna go try and catch up with this guy. I'd like you guys, if you don't mind, if you could chuck me a little like in some of my videos. Uh, if you wouldn't mind subscribing for more content, I am going to put some B-roll footage up of the Mirage. It's basically going to be about 10 to 15 minutes of just bleeps and bloops, missiles and guns. Uh, no talking at all, just some nice ASMR war thunder footage. Yeah, so this guy flies right in front of me and the missile goes away. Later I saw that he actually typed to me in chat saying, please no. That I'm very sorry. <laughs> I just wanted to get some footage of these missiles. So yeah, this guy above me, I spot him. I I just realized this guy is in the, is just behind me. I didn't think he'd quite commit to what he's doing here, but he does. M9J just misses me, and of course, I'm completely broadsided to this guy, and it takes me out with the miniguns. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Take it easy. Much love. Bye bye.